Hey everyone, JT Shaver here. Today I'm going to show you one of the fastest and easiest methods to split tone in Photoshop that you've ever seen. Photo editing tools have gotten so complex that sometimes we spend hours trying to perfect something with no end in sight. Just one solid color fill layer with some changes to the blend mode and layer styles is all you need here, so let's get started. So here's the image that we're going to be working with and the first thing you want to do is come over to your layers panel and create a new solid color fill layer. And you want to set the hue for this to 220, the saturation to 100, and the brightness to 100 and hit OK. Next you're going to come over to your blend mode and with that color fill layer selected you want to change the blend mode to exclusion. Then just come over to your opacity and change the opacity to about 20%. That's seriously it. That's how easy this method is. So if you look at the before and the after, you can see that it's added a nice teal and orange or blue and orange split tone effect. Now there are a couple other things you can do. So to make this look more natural, we're going to blend it into the image just a bit. So double click your solid color fill layer to open up the layer style dialog. And I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to come down to the Blend If section and holding Alt on the underlying layer sliders, I'm going to click and drag to separate the black sliders and that will let me fade that blue color into the shadows more naturally. And I'm going to come over to the highlights and do the same to fade the orange color into the highlights. So I'm going to hold Alt and click the left side of this slider and drag it over to the left until I'm happy with how it fades into the image and then I'll hit OK. You can also come over to your layers panel and change the blend mode from exclusion to difference. And that'll give you a slightly different look. On top of that, you can double click to change the color of your fill layer and that'll give you different split tone effects as well. Hey, that's it for now guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so more people can see it and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to learn next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.